In the summer of 2022, we are still dealing with COVID-19 and we are seemingly at the start of a monkeypox outbreak. There have also been cases of the Marburg virus and the Ebola virus noted in Africa. And we have seen the first case of polio in decades in the United States. So a reasonable question to ask would be, is there something happening that is making viruses and bacteria more aggressive and more contagious? And the answer is yes, there is. Um, any condition that favors the formation of aerosols versus droplets will increase the contagiousness and the virulence of the uh, viruses that are uh, airborne. And so to think about that a little bit further, I do have a different talk where I explain the difference between aerosols and droplets uh, in uh, detail, but basically uh, anything that is over roughly 500 nanometers is going to be heavy enough where it is affected normally by gravity um, and it drops to the ground. So droplets basically when they come out of your mouth they drop to the ground within 20-30 seconds and then they are no longer contagious. Aerosols on the other hand are usually less than 500 nanometers and that means that they are affected more strongly by the air currents even those that are in, a, in an enclosed room uh, as opposed to gravity. And so they stay up in the air, whereas droplets drop to the ground. And these guys up in the air can stay up in the air for 40 hours and as a result have a much higher chance of infecting you. The other part of that equation is that things that are larger when they enter your airway tend to deposit relatively quickly and they deposit in the upper airways. The smaller a particulate is when it enters your, your uh, airways, the deeper it goes before it deposits. And so you can imagine that an infection up here, like a cold or sinus infection, is gonna be a lot easier to deal with than an infection deep, deep down in your uh, lungs, uh, where it can turn into pneumonia and cause serious problems. So, um, why is it that the atmosphere is now favoring the formation of aerosols as opposed to droplets? Well, uh, aerosols are little particles, so let's say for COVID-19, it's 125 nanometers. So if you stick four of them together, you're at 500 nanometers, you have a droplet drops to the ground, and you're good. What makes these things stick together? water in the atmosphere. Water in the atmosphere acts like the glue that allows these to come together and if they come together they become less infectious. What's happening to the air and uh, water in the atmosphere? Why is it not there to stick these guys together and make them less uh, infectious? Um, well it's being taken up by things that we have put in the air or maybe they were there naturally but things like CO2, methane, particulates left over from fires, particulates left over from sandstorms and other industrial or natural activities will increase the amount of competition for the free air, uh, for the free water that's in the air. And when, um, you know, those particulates are in such high uh, proportions, then uh, two things do not happen. One is that the um, the aerosols will not come together to make um, uh, droplets and the other thing that doesn't happen is rain in those areas where rain is, uh, uh, is uh, scarce to begin with. It becomes even more scarce because of the uh, proportion of living and dead things in the atmosphere uh, favors the dead things and so conditions uh, will um, prevail that uh, favor um, uh, favor uh, more disease uh, and uh, less life.